Hi and welcome to Faith and to Greatness. Today I wanted to talk about the Lord, knowing the Lord, understanding the Lord's ways. Many prophets have given their testimony about their experience in growing close with the Lord. And I wanted to share an excerpt from Lamentations 3 in the Bible. I really love Lamentations 3. In Lamentations 3.24, it says, The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. I hope and pray for everyone, no matter what day it is, no matter what hour it is, that you continue to hope in the Lord, okay? Because us humans, we know nothing. In Lamentations 3, it says here, Who has spoken? And it came to pass unless the Lord has commanded it. Nothing that ever happens on earth happens without the Lord commanding the action. Is it not from the mouth of the Most High that good and bad come? So many people don't understand that. When you get delivered to Mr. Devil, that's from the Lord. God delivers you to the devil. And God allows the devil to do certain things to you under God's authority. Why should a living man complain, a man about the punishment of his sins? How many people out here are saying, where's God? I've been praying. I've been waiting. I've been hoping. I've repented. God knows their heart. If you haven't seen the Lord yet, it's because God may be mad at you. So don't complain about what's going on in your life because it may just be punishment for your own behavior. Let us test and examine our ways and return to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts and hands to God in heaven. And we say we have transgressed and rebelled and you have not forgiven. You have wrapped yourself with anger and pursued us killing without pity. You have wrapped yourself with a cloud so that no prayer can pass through. You have made us scum and garbage among the peoples. All our enemies open their mouths against us. Panic and pitfall have come upon us. Devastation and destruction. My eyes flow with rivers of tears because of the destruction of the daughter of my people. My eyes will flow without ceasing, without respite until the Lord from heaven looks down and sees. My eyes cause me grief at the fate of all the daughters of my city. I have been hunted like a bird by those who were enemies without cause. They flung me alive into the pit and cast stones on me. Water closed over my head. I said, I'm lost. I called on your name, O Lord, from the depths of the pit. You heard my plea. Do not close your ear to my cry for help. You came near when I called on you. You said, do not fear. You have taken up my cause, O Lord. You have redeemed my life. You have seen the wrong done to me, O Lord. Judge my cause. You have seen all their vengeance, all their plots against me. You have heard their taunts, O Lord, all their plots against me. The lips and thoughts of my assailants are against me all day long. Behold, they're sitting and they're rising. I am the object of their taunts. You will repay them, Lord, according to the work of your hands. You will give them dullness of heart and your curse will be on them. You will pursue them in anger and destroy them from under your heavens, O Lord. Your curse will be upon them. Do you feel cursed in life? It's time to examine your ways and return back to the Lord. It's time. Just remember, God's not going to punish you forever. God knows your heart. So if you go back and pray for forgiveness and keep at it and keep praying and hoping and wishing for it, God's not going to just leave you on red. I hope this message blesses you all. Take care. God bless.